Sometimes you prove theorems in science, but a lot of the time we're making inductive arguments. We start with credible premises. We call it the evidence. And then we use arguments that are more or less rigorous. They can't be maybe perfectly rigorous. And we arrive at a conclusion that is strictly speaking stronger than the premises, something that is not necessarily entailed by the premises, but is strongly supported by the premises. We assign some evidentiary credence or probability. We say, I, I'm this certain that my conclusions are true, given the premises, which are very credible and rigorous and reliable, and, and my reasoning. That's an inductive argument, and a lot of science is inductive arguments. And then what we do is we take the conclusions, and usually they're like a theory or a prediction, and we go out and measure them, and we get confirmation, and we feel stronger that we've done a good job. But there are a lot of arguments in some areas of physics that are neither de deductive or inductive where the premises are themselves wild speculations. And you take these wild speculations and then you make arguments that are themselves wildly speculative and you arrive at conclusions that are speculations like on top of speculations and speculations. And I just don't even know what to do with something like that. I don't know how to follow those arguments. And I really don't think that someone who's like thoroughly trained in philosophy is gonna find those sorts of arguments very credible.